Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to walk you through how I'm using my iPhone 16 Pro for video and photography, and how I'm using Blackmagic Camera App, and then also the built-in Apple's Camera App as well. So I'm going to walk you through how I use the Blackmagic Camera App to get high quality ProRes HQ. So this is the highest bit rate and highest Kodak that you can produce with the iPhone 16 Pro. And I'm going to walk you through how I use this hard drive, particularly with this toggle setup using USB-C 4 speeds to transfer directly to this hard drive attached to my iPhone. In this video I'm going to walk you through my current workflow particularly with capturing high quality video including Apple ProRes and the Apple Log feature as part of the iPhone 16 Pro. In this video I'll walk you through my current workflow focus primarily on capturing video using the camera button and using the Blackmagic camera app. I'll touch on how you can apply a baked in LUT directly into the video using the Blackmagic camera app as well as smooth track your workflow and speed it up using the Blackmagic camera presets so you can quickly toggle between different features using different frame rates as well as different codecs. So this is my iPhone 16 Pro and as you can see here it is attached with adapter that allows for USB-C 4 speeds and then I connect it to this Rocket Nano version 2 SSD that is two terabytes SSD and allows for fast speeds on your iPhone 16 Pro Pro using this setup. I've only tried it without a case. Using this adapter that allows for 40 gigabyte speeds and is 240 watts and I'll leave a description of the adapter I use. Get an adapter that allows for USB-C 4 speeds in terms of 40 gigabytes per second. Then you can attach something like this which is this two terabyte Rocket Nano. This Rocket Nano as you can see here has a female outlet. You have two male USB-C adapter that allows for 40 gigabytes per second and then using the female connector on this Rocket Nano you can simply attach it to your iPhone 16 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro which allows you to record ProRes so either high quality or just simple ProRes or LT in either 24 frames or 30 frames and also Apple so using their Apple log and so this setup very quickly and I'll show you. You can also, using the camera button, what I did is I set it up using the Blackmagic camera app. But that what allows me to do is simply if I click on there, I can go quickly into the settings. In Blackmagic camera, you can quickly go horizontal, but then also go vertical to horizontal very quickly. You can also lock it but that way you can also apply a LUT. As I mentioned in the introduction, you can, what I use is, I'm gonna show you how you can use Tyler Stallman's LUT pack in terms of his film pack and how you can bake in the image if you want using the Blackmagic camera. The reason why you might wanna do this is just to speed track your workflow. Let's say you want to get high quality or the best quality video on your iPhone 16 Pro. Then you can, using Tyler Stallman's apply it baked in using the Blackmagic camera which also allows you to get the high dynamic range of the ProRes especially if it's high quality. Using that 4K let's say you're filming it in either 24 frames or 30 frames you can get the best quality and then quickly post it to social media if you want to just edit a quick video. Another workflow to consider is that you can set up presets in your Blackmagic camera app. That Blackmagic camera allows you to create different presets similar to what you get on the Blackmagic 16K, like their cameras in terms of their cinema cameras. And in the camera app as well, you can come up with, let's say, 4K, 24 frames per second preset in, let's say, ProRes high quality. You can set that up. Then you can maybe, let's say, you want to do a 30 frame preset in 4K. And then maybe another one's at 60 frames and 120 frames. And then the key feature in the Blackmagic camera app is you can use the offset feature. In the offset feature, you can film in a 24 frame per second timeline. It's recording in 60 frames or 120 frames, but then converting it to 24 frames so that when it's finished recording, it's already going to be the proper 24 frames per second. So in this video, I covered the top features of using this iPhone Pro. I walked you through how I use the Blackmagic camera app. Another app on the iPhone Pro is the camera app itself from Apple. You can quickly get your 
recording done. Within the settings, you can set the camera to ensure that it's filming in either 30 frames 4K and ensuring that it's also the images are in lossless. But in this video, I basically wanted to cover how I use the Blackmagic camera app and how I set the camera button to the Blackmagic camera so that I can quickly go into recording a video. What I did is I showed you how you can use a LUT by Tyler Stallman to quickly bake in a high quality conversion so that you're getting a nice cinematic look in your post-production in terms of your video. And of course you can record in the Apple's Pro Res and then the Apple Log and then do the edits in post-production let's say on your Mac. But this workflow is a way to streamline it and make it quicker. One thing I also showed you is by setting up presets in your Blackmagic camera app you can quickly toggle between your settings so they can quickly get to like, 24 frames to 60 frames to 120 frames very quickly and ensure that you're getting the intended image that you're after.